Rap on behalf of Earth Mother and Father Creator who provide a safe space. We'll see you later, alligator. After a while, if you still feel chills from the reptile smile, face your fears. Funk is the grease and the gears and forgiveness is an honor and a hunger. So I'm forever old school and brand new because it's true. The future is very old and when it grows mold, it becomes a penicillin for healing that brings satisfaction. It seeps through the floors and drips through the ceiling, ready for extraction. It shows up on our seashores as evolution solution to pollution while we all stand around salvating for salvation but reject the invitation. I've lived in Texas more or less all my life, born and raised in Houston. Started coming up to Austin like black sheep or weirdos or creative folks do. So I came here in 1998 and I was influenced by Austin. I did travel a lot, hitchhike around to do all kinds of stuff. And since I moved here in 1998, Austin has changed. I guess technology has changed a lot of stuff. People uh, are not as soulfully interested or committed. The, the ethos or mythos of the Austin artistic creative culture that exists here it's fun to think it can come from just the natural, the aquifers, the fresh waters under us. There's been a moving away from like some kitschy, dirty, gritty energy. People have come here for that and then actually tried to like, well, let's give it our brush up on it though. Let's touch that up and make that a little cleaner. Yeah, the city got a facelift, some shit like that. It didn't need one. The things that made Austin what it is are not being taken care of. I've always had a love of funky stuff, just earth funk, straight up earth funk. That set me into many things of exploration. And I've always tended to build sacred spaces in my yard or in the forests near me as a uh, therapy, a uh, impulse. They were never meant to be shared. They were always in places where I just had friends come together for session ceremonies and to utilize art in that way to help you have joy, meditate, create a good frequency. To alter is to alternate, to change. So to change the frequency, the, the energy of a space through art. When using organics, they actually have ashe to them. They have living force. Really the most fun part of it is feeling compelled by something inside of yourself, a muse or whatever else. But when you really start to feel like there's a collaborative effort between you and nature, and then it opens up uh, creating a landing pad for aliens to show up. And so trying to create a landing pad in a motel for lost souls. So this specific altar ended up getting created as a little dojo. So it's where I'm able to practice rapping, singing, dancing, and um, then the visual arts too, all in combination as one solid experience. They all kind of support each other for me in that way. If I have a little dojo or a place to be creative, it, it tends to make me want to do that kind of stuff more. So I use the art to help me want to make art. So this is our space for Papa Legba. Here's the warrior to keep all the beautiful, delicate, sensitive energies and flowers protected. So this is for our precious waters on the earth, but also for a little bit of remembering not to take stuff so seriously. Little gifts for the celestial niñas and niños, the little children. A little pocket of joy right there. Can from Café du Monde in New Orleans. It's our little squirrel guardians out here in the forest. That is definitely connection to some of the Caribbean energies in New Orleans. Sometimes this was the feminine side and that was the masculine side, but every time the city's taking it down, I flip the battery, essentially. These are for extroverted masculine energy. That's for introverted masculine energy, the good father, the good husband. This is for a lot of uh, creative force and electricity, thunder and lightning. And then, of course, this is the area for the mother, the maternal forces. And then in here we have Ochun. It's like an Aphrodite, uh, Venus energy. This is Oya, the wind, the hurricane, the rainbow. 
The citruses are a gift to the moon, to Venus. The garlic, everybody knows what garlic's for. I think that forgiveness is the only option if we want peace. And um, the only way I can have a, a semblance of peace is forgiveness of myself and uh, forgiveness of everybody else. The only direction is up, and that way we ground ourselves deeply and align ourselves vertically in order to not be distracted by all the ongoings on the horizontal level with all of our brothers and sisters and everything else that can create turbulence and waves with the horizontal bars. The frequency of forgiveness of the self, of all of our brothers and sisters, and an acceptance of all being on this boat together.